not perfect. <laughs> ah, well, sometimes no news is good news, right? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Hello, Sergey. Sergey, can you hear me? Hi, Shane. Hi, Shane. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm fine. And you? Very good, very good. It's good to see you. Shane, uh, what is about uh, this picture? What picture? Ah, did you see uh, the picture? Did you see the pictures? Yeah. Okay, we'll but talk about it. A little bit late. A oh, little that's bit okay. late. That's okay. I'll give people time. I'll give people time tonight again. <laughs> and let me say hi to Taha. Hi, Taha. Hi, Shane. How are you? Good. How are you doing? I am okay, too. And I'm glad that uh, I, I am in this hangout. Very good. It's good to see you again. Let me see. Taha, you're Thank from you. where? Morocco? Yeah. That's great. How Morocco. is the weather in Morocco? It's uh, very hot. How hot? Uh, nine, uh, sorry, 29. 29. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> Sergey, you're in yeah. Germany. What's, what's the temperature in Germany? About uh, 20 degrees. Oh, wow. 20 is really nice. It's very nice, yeah. Oh, that's good. Kate, I'm enjoying. I'm enjoying this better. Well, yeah. Oh, that's good. That's great. Kate, you're in Kazakhstan. What's the weather in Kazakhstan? Oh, um, it, it's good weather. I don't not too hot, but not cold. <laughs> that's good. That's good. Kile, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Oh, that's uh, Tile. So you got Tile and Kile. Hi, Tile. Tile, where are you? In Vietnam? Yeah, you're right. Where in Vietnam? In southern Vietnam. In southern Vietnam. So by Saigon. Yeah. Very good. How is the weather in Saigon? It's windy. It's uh, really cool. Oh, that sounds nice. Yeah. Very good. And Kile, how are you doing, Kile? Uh, you can call oh, me no, the other Joy. Guy, the other guy, the other guy, Kile. Uh, yeah. Key, can you hear me? Oh, your microphone is not working, Key. Oh, Key is upset he left. Somebody has a similar name, so he's angry. <laughs> <laughs> and we have Bear Santa Raisin. Hi, Bear. Hi. How are you doing? Not bad, thank you. How is the weather in Korea? Um, it's getting, it's getting very humid. It's get yeah, exactly. Yeah, I I also live in Korea. It's very humid, which makes the temperature uh, miserable. It's uh, it was 27 earlier. Now it's 24. Late at night and 24. That's too hot. That's too hot indeed. Okay, uh, welcome again, everybody. Um, how many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have room for one more person. So we have a couple people watching, and if somebody wants to join, that's great. Uh, and Key is back. Okay, good. Let's let me check Key's mic for a second. Key, is your mic working? Maybe not. Okay, now Key is typing. Key, is your mic working? Say hi, I can't hear you. Oh, that's okay, that's okay. Okay, now, today we had two pictures, and I'm going to show you the pictures right now. So if you have not written a description, uh, these are the two pictures. And my question was, what do these two pictures have in common and I would like you to put your answers in the chat room so if you can type your answer or copy it into the chat room I want to know what these two pictures have in common and I see we have lots of answers Dimitri has uploaded one I have one from Mikhail 
uh, Key has uploaded an answer. So everybody else, uh, I'll give you a minute or two. Please look at the pictures and type in what they have in common. Kate has an answer. Very good. And once again, Key put his answer back up there. I'll give you 60 seconds. Taha has a description. Very short, Taha. Very, very short. Oh. <laughs> That's Thank okay. You. That's okay. Short is easy for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I, I hope that uh, everybody else, please type something. I hope that you can. Dimitri Ki Taha the Durgum Kate. Very good, very good. Sergey, do you have an answer? <laughs> I already I was looking at um Please Shane. I want your answer. Don't 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 <laughs> give us your answer. Type it out though, please. Type it out. I already did it. Okay, very good, very good. Uh, I typed one here. That's from Mikhail. Mikhail can't join us tonight, but uh, that was Mikhail's answer. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and uh, start it off here. Now, I've got uh, way at the top, Dimitri. Dimitri was the first person okay. to write an answer. Can you take uh, uh, my bellow? All right, the text below. Uh, the second one. You want the second one? Second one. Okay. All right. Uh, here we go. Copy that. <laughs> and I'm going to put it here and make it bigger so that everybody can see. And I'm going to up the picture a bit. Okay. Dimitri, please read your description. Okay, uh, both uh, both uh, snapshots were taken with the same camera, but the photog photographer was too drunk. Therefore, his imagination has broken loose. The result is overwhelming. He hugs a bear like his own brother. He comprehended how to pilot a jet. <laughs> so, if you drink too much, bears become your friend and you can fly jets. Is that right? Uh, yes, sir. It's wow. an irony. <laughs> it is the irony, yes. I think I need to drink more. <laughs> okay, I like it. First of all, I like the noun snapshots. Uh, I usually say the word pictures, but snapshots are perfectly fine. Both snapshots, both pictures were taken with the same camera. But the photographer was too drunk, therefore his imagination has broken loose. What do you mean by this? His imagination uh, has broken loose. Uh, uh, his uh, imagination has no uh, barriers. No barriers. Ah, no like that's, no actually, that's better. His imagination has no... Oh, I, I think what you want to say, his imagination is... Mm -hmm. So, has... Uh, broken loose? No. Is on the loose would be better. It's okay. I think, I think I'll stay uh, the second one. With no barriers. Uh, is uh, on the loose. Okay, we'll stick with that one then. Good. His imagination is on the loose. It's running free. The result is overwhelming. He hugs a bear like his own brother, and we'll use a semicolon here. He comprehended how to pilot a jet. And this is okay, but let's change this verb. Can you think of a verb that begins with an F? Uh, F, uh, fla uh, figure out. That's right. This would be a little bit better for this uh, sentence here. It's the same uh -huh. idea, but the flow is better. Okay? Okay. All right, I like it. So it's the same guy. It's the same guy in both pictures. Uh, Dimitri, can you please read your sentence again? Uh, okay, 
Uh, both snapshots were taken with the same camera. But the photographer was too drunk. Therefore, his imagination has analogs. The result is overwhelming. He hugs a bear like his own brother. He figure out how to pilot a jet. All right, very good. Let's work on a couple words here. Uh, your pronunciation is good, but I do want to practice. Camera. Actually, in America, we usually just use two syllables, and we say camera. 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 Perfect. Camera. Photographer. Camera. Photographer. Very good, very good. His imagination, oops, let me get rid of has, sorry. His imagination is on the loose. His imagination is on the loose. Imagination is okay. Imagination is might be more common. Imagination. Imagination. There you go. One more time. His imagination is on the loose. His imagination is on the loose. There you go. That's great. What kind of a bear is this, Dimitri? Uh, it's uh, uh, the Arctic bear. That's right. Do you know the name? The Sorry. English name? The English Sorry. name of this bear? Uh, Durgam, what is it? Polar beer. Ah, polar uh, beer. Polar beer. A polar beer. That's a cold beer. A polar bear. <laughs> bear. There you go. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. That's great. Thank you very much, Dimitri. Let me move at this point to Key. Key, are you there? You have a bad microphone connection. Oh, geez, microphone is very, very bad. Ah, Key, you're destroying everybody's ears. <laughs> uh, Key, is it working? I, I don't think it's working. Okay. I'm going to read your sentence for you, Key, okay? Now, this is what Key wrote. You can easily see the common things between two pictures. The content of the pictures is smaller and smaller from the bottom to the top like a pyramid. Mm -hmm. Things in the pictures seem like they are approaching you. Very good. They are about to hit you. Very good. The pictures make them greater and more special. Very interesting. I like it. You went from a scientific engineering point of view. So let me start here again. You can easily see the common things between... And in this case, the things... You can easily see the things in common. The common things would be the regular things. The things in common means the similar things. So be careful there. Once again, common things means regular things, and things in common means similarities. So it's actually uh, different. So be careful there. So once again, you can easily see the things in common between these two pictures. The content of the pictures is smaller and smaller from the bottom to the top, like a pyramid. I agree. Everything is very large down here, and as we go up, it gets smaller and smaller. Yeah, so they both are like a pyramid. Very good. Things in the pictures seem, so we got a plural here, so things seem like they are approaching you. Very good, very good. They are about to hit you. Excellent. The pictures make them greater and more special. Okay, so uh, the in this case the pictures no the method. What is the them greater and more special? Okay, I'll accept that. That's pretty darn good. So, key, let me read your uh, sentence uh, here again. That's very good. You can easily see the things in common between these two pictures. The content of the pictures is smaller and smaller from the, top to, from the bottom to the top like a pyramid. 
Things in the pictures seem like they are approaching you. They are about to hit you. The method of photography makes them greater and more special. Excellent job. I liked it. Uh, once again, very uh, scientific view of the pictures. I think uh, Pythagoras, Pythagoras, uh, would also agree exactly. <laughs> Let me go. I think the next is Kate. Let me copy Kate's description here. And I'll make it bigger and bigger and bigger. <clears throat> okay, Kate, can you read your description, please? Yes, okay. Um, both pictures show us two fearless men. One of them swims in a pool with a bear, and the other conquers the sky. Also, they show us two extraordinary types of activity and were taken by the men themselves. Great job. Very good description. Three key points. Both pictures show us two fearless men. One of them swims in a pool with a bear and the other conquers the sky. Also, they show us two extraordinary types of activity. Swimming with a bear, flying in a plane, and were taken by the men themselves. Great job. There's no problem here. Grammatically, everything is uh, very good. So let me concentrate on your pronunciation. So let's try it again. Are you ready? Yeah. Um, both pictures show us two fearless men. One of them swims in a pool with a bear, and the other conquers the sky. Uh, also, they show us two extraordinary types of activity and were taken by the men themselves. Great job, great job. Uh, TH, a lot of people with the Russian language background have a problem with the TH. They change it to a Z. So, and the other conquers the sky. And the others, and the other conquers the sky. Mm. Almost. Other conquers. Other conquers. And the other conquers. And the other conquers. Very good. And actually, this S sound can cancel the TH, but let's, let's try it with the TH. Conquers the sky. Conquers the sky. Very conquers good. Conquers the sky. Good, good. Types of activity. And keep it more of an A ah sound. Types of activity. Types of activity. Great job. In America, this is a strong T, but this usually changes to a D sound. So like a activity. Activity. Mm -hmm. Okay. Types of activity. Very good. We're taken by the men themselves. We're taken by the men themselves. Great job. That's much, much better. Uh, and you did a really good job with this word. A lot of students want to say extraordinary, which is fine, but when we say it fast, we say extraordinary. Yep, and that's what you did. So you did a very good job. So, Kate, can you read it one more time, please? Both pictures show us two fearless men. One of them swims in a pool with a bear, and the other conquers the sky. Also, they show us two extraordinary types of activity and were taken by the men themselves. I like it. Very good. I guess we should say types of activities. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Great job. Excellent job. Thank, Thank you. you. Let me go to the next person. We got Kate, Key, Taha. Yeah. Taha is next. Taha wrote very, very little. We'll fix it up here. So Taha, I want you to give me a full sentence. So let's this is what you have. I know you mean end in this case and D in this case and Y in this case. Uh, but make it a full Thank sentence, you. Taha. Okay. We need to get out. Oh my god. I think. So we need to start with this subject. I know what to say now because okay, the first yeah. first huh? picture. Shows a man hunting. Is that what you want to say? Yeah. 
Great, great, great. Okay, so the first picture shows a man hunting. And yeah. the second picture shows skydiving. Yeah. Okay? Okay. Now, uh, Taha, is this guy hunting? I, I think so. Do you think he's re wrestling with the bear? Yeah, he's trying to the bear. He's fighting with the bear. Yeah. Who's winning the fight? Well, I think. I think uh, the man. The man is winning the fight. That's great. Yeah. So that's. I like that. And is this guy skydiving? Uh, because above him there is a helicopter. Ah, okay. It, it's so the way you see it, it looks like a helicopter. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, that's possible. If that's the way you saw it, that's okay. I'll accept that. So once again, we need to set up the noun and the verb, and then you you gave me the subjects: so the first hunting, the okay. second skydiving. So this is all we need to do. Okay. Okay. So please read this now. sentence. I got here. Taha, can you read the sentence? Okay, wait. The first picture shows a man hunting, and the second picture shows a man skydiving. Very good. Your pronunciation is really good. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Now, who is next here? Tui, Tui Le. Tui, are you there? Yeah. All right. Everybody else, please turn your microphone off or I'll meet you. Please turn your microphones uh, yeah. off. Okay, let me get this bigger. Oops. All right, go for it. Tile. Oh, I cannot hear you. Try t turn your microphone on. Both of them were took in the morning, and also has man in it. Very good, very good, very good. So both of them. Now, we we shouldn't start. I don't want you to start a sentence with uh, the preposition. So let's do both. And if we have both, we should say were. Okay. Both pictures were in the morning, and they also have. Is it is it the same man or is it different men? Do you lay? Ah, uh, the man just a version. I mean. One more time. Um, a portion. I mean that it. Then the same man. The same man. Okay, and and they also have this man in it, and it's two pictures. They in them. So that's what we should say. Okay. Do you understand? Yes, I have. Now, why do you think they were in the morning? Is it just oh. your guess? Yeah, I guess because it lines up to be turned like uh, in the morning. Okay, sure, that's possible. And you think this is the same guy, right? Yeah, I get it. He's a really tough guy then. <laughs> Very good. Okay, Tui please read your sentences one more time. Both pictures were taken in the morning, and they also had the same man in them. Okay, you actually did a very good job with your pronunciation, um, and I want you to keep practicing. That sounds good. Uh, can you repeat after me one time? Yeah. Okay. Both pictures. I'm sorry. Both pictures were taken in the morning. Both pictures were taken in the morning. Good job. Make sure you keep the S one more time. Both pictures were taken in the morning. 
both pictures were taken in the morning. And they also have the same man in them. And they also had the same man in them. Excellent job. You did great. Very good. Thank you very much. Thank you. And Kile has dropped. His microphone is broke. That's too bad. Uh, he's going to watch us on the channel. So we do have room for one more person. But if somebody joins, you need to have descriptions of the sentences. Let me go to Durgam. Durgam, are you there? Pictures. You just popped back in. Durgam, can you hear me? Yeah. The internet yeah, connection. I can't hear you. The internet connection can in hear Iraq me? is very. Yes, I can. The internet connection in Iraq must be very bad today. Yeah, it's bad always. Not today. <laughs> Bad always. Oh. How's your family? Okay, thanks. They're okay. That's good. All right. Durgan, please read your description. The man and animal in the same picture, but the man is red while the animal is white. Very good. Very good. So. Uh, so you just described this first picture. He, he didn't describe this picture. That's okay. So we need to add yeah. the article a, a man and an animal. And where's your verb? Are in the same picture. But the man is red while the polar bear white. <laughs> yeah. I, wrote, I, I wrote my comment in Google+. Plus. Uh, ah, here yeah. I wrote it. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. Uh, we'll just. I I know that. I yeah. I know. Um, excellent job. Can you make a sentence for this guy? Um, a man. Um, a man wearing a helmet. Uh, from inner inside inside. Uh, from. Uh, from inner inside in the lane. Can we say this? From where a man wearing a helmet, and then I didn't hear. Yeah, in a uh, plane with the with the inner insight, inner insight. Okay, give me a verb. A man wearing a helmet uh, is taking yeah. a picture from inside the plane. Very good, excellent job, Durgam. Yeah. Please read it, and I'll check your pronunciation. Everything is great here. A man and animal are in the same picture, but the man is red while the polar bear is white. A man wearing a helmet is taking a picture from inside a plane. Excellent job. Now be careful here. Uh, you read it a little bit too fast, so let's try again. A man and an animal. A man and an, an animal. The end cancel the D. I can't say and animal. That's right, but we have to say a man and an animal. So this is actually a really funny uh, sound group because we have an, an, an four times. And you're right, we can cancel the D, so we don't need the D sound, but we have to have all four ands. So this is tough. A man and an animal. Can you try again? A man and an animal. Oh, maybe Durgam's mic uh, failed on him. Once again, this is a, a pretty, I really like this sentence because of the and sound four different times. Perfect pronunciation, a man and an animal. But like Durgam said, we can cancel the D sound. We don't need the D sound. So we can just say, a man and an animal, a man and an animal. A man and an animal are in the same picture, but the man is red while the polar bear is white. A man wearing a helmet is taking a picture from inside a plane. Excellent job. Durgam, are you there? Okay, can you read it yeah. again, Durgam? A man... And, uh, a man and an animal are, are in the same picture, but the man is red while... The polar bear is white. 
A man wearing a helmet is taking a picture from inside a plane. Okay, and once again, Durgam, we got to practice this. A man and an animal. Yeah, a man and an animal. Uh, a man and an animal. There you go. That was great. Excellent job. One more time. A man and an uh, sorry. <laughs> a man and an animal. <laughs> Excellent job. Great job. A man job. and an animal. I want you to teach this sentence to your students today. <laughs> Maybe in Sunday I have a lecture. Great, then teach him on Sunday. This is a good sentence. I like the sentence. A man and an animal. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you, Durgam. Let me go to our uh, next uh, person. Go ahead. Do you have a question? I have no comment. Okay. Let me go to Sergey. Oops. <laughs> Sergey. <laughs> Hold on a second here. Shane, this is uh, unbelievable. I did it under enormous time uh, pressure. <laughs> why? L why? Like an emergency doctor, yeah, you know? <laughs> uh, unbelievable. So, uh, are you, are, if you want to join like... the... Uh, if you want to join the Air Force, you have to defeat a uh, polar bear in the pool, in a pool. <laughs> so, if you want to join the Air Force, let's change to Air Force. Yeah. Air Force, yeah, of course. Oh, I, sorry, we needed two words. Uh, you have to defeat a polar bear in the pool. My goodness, what kind of, what country Air Force is this? It must be Russian. <laughs> it must be China, maybe, yeah. Man, those Chinese guys are tough. If they want to join the Air Force, they have to defeat a polar bear in the pool. <laughs> Either they're very tough or they have a very small Air Force. I don't think they could <laughs> defeat a polar bear. Okay, Sergey, can you read it one more time, please? No time pressure. Relax. Yeah. If you want to join the Air Force, you have to defeat a polar bear in a pool. <laughs> All right. Uh, Shane, it, it's about, uh, you, you, you know, um, Murphy's Law? No, it's about Darwin's Law. Darwin's Law. Yeah, of course. Darwin's law, yeah. Or we can say the strongest too. It's all about uh, survival, survival uh, of the fittest and uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> the smartest. Fittest and smartest, yeah. Fittest there and you smartest. go, the, the fittest okay. and smartest. So, yes. so who's going to win in this situation? Do you think the guy is going to win or the bear is going to win? Um, Shane, uh, I think um, it cannot be a bear. It's impossible. <laughs> you don't think? Well, what, what, what is it? A horse? A dog? And uh, maybe a dog. Maybe a dog. It's all about uh, the picture. Uh, you know, uh, the picture was taken uh, too close. So that makes the animal appear larger. Yes, that may be a, a duck. I it could so. be. Yeah, that I was thinking. It, I was thinking it might be a reindeer. Reindeer. Do you know reindeer? Yes, of course. So reindeer uh, in a pool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Cause, cause this guy, he he looks like Santa Claus, so maybe Santa Claus is training reindeer in the pool. <laughs> Santa Claus. Santa Claus uh, can join the Air Force, of course. Yeah. yeah he can he can fly. That's for sure. Yeah. This this might be Santa Claus. <laughs> Good luck, yeah, uh, to Santa Claus. Wow. Sergey, your sentence makes total sense. This is a reindeer, and, uh, yeah. and he, that's the Air Force. Perfect combination. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Go on, Shane. Thank you. Yeah. All right. 
<laughs> okay, let me see who is next here. I think, okay, I'm going to do Mikhail's sentence next. Once again, Mikhail uh, sent me the sentence. Uh, he was unable to join to, for the live lecture, but let's get his sentence out here. Okay, and Mikhail is a, he's a pretty funny guy. The pilot and the dog, so he thinks it's a dog here, uh, a dog. Uh, <laughs> the pilot and the dog are both intelligence service workers on their cover-up missions. God bless America and those dogs missing in action. We need to add an exclamation point because of the irony, the, the sarcasm. All right. So once again, Mikhail thought this was a dog. The pilot and the dog are both intelligent service workers. Can anybody think of another word instead of workers? Intelligence service. Anybody? Executive. Mm -hmm. Ah, executives. That's a good idea. There's there's a better word. There's two words. One begins with an O, and the other begins with an A. Intelligence service. So when we say intelligence service, we have to think of CIA or KGB. There you go. So one would be officers, and what about the A? So in this case, officers or agents would be better. And usually in America, we say officers. So we'll stick with officers in this case. So the pilot and the dog are both intelligence service officers, oh my god, on their cover-up missions. And I think he means a spy mission here. So let's. I'm going to change this to covert. And, and we don't need there. We can get rid of that on covert missions, on secret missions. So this is a CIA dog on a secret mission, the pilot too. God bless America and those dogs missing in action. So that <clears throat> missing in action means uh, missing or killed during uh, their service, during covert missions. So pretty funny. Thank you very much, Mikhail. I'll read it again for you. The pilot and the dog are both intelligence service officers on covert missions. God bless America and those dogs missing in action. Ha, ha, ha. L-O-L. <laughs> okay. Anybody else? We have Bear Santa Raisin. Bear Santa Raisin. And let me make this bigger for you. All right, Bear, can you read your sentence, please? Um, actually, I can't see. You can't see my screen? typing. I can't okay. see your screen. Okay, I'll put it in the chat room. Hold on a second. Thank you. It's in the chat now. There you go. All right, the first picture shows a man with a polar bear. The second one shows someone in an Air Force uniform. Both pictures seem to have been shot quite close up. Excellent job. A very uh, simple, straightforward description. Um, and so the similarity is both pictures seem to have been shot quite close up, correct? Yes. Very good. And I think you're correct. I think you're absolutely right. Uh, yeah, this is these are some pretty interesting photos and they're definitely shot close up. Can you your pronunciation and structure are great. Can you read it one more time quickly? Okay, the first picture shows a man with a polar bear. The second one shows someone in an Air Force uniform. Both pictures seem to have been shot by close up. Excellent job. Excellent job. No problems at all. Excellent job. All right, let me see. Anybody else? Thank you, Bear. All right, thank you. Uh, da, 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 da. Da, da, da. That's it? Hello, sir. Just got on. Our, our novel writer. 
<laughs> so so I'm, I'm in the process of ending. I'm just going to put it in the chat box. Okay. We'll wait a second. Yeah. Let, let, me, let me talk to Ahmad. Ahmad? Yes? Do you have a description? Do you have a sentence, Ahmad? If you don't, that's okay. Ahmad, where are you from? I'm from Egypt, but now I uh, talk to you with, uh, in Saudi Arabia. Okay, so you're from Egypt, but right now you're in Saudi Arabia. Yes. Do you work in Saudi Arabia? Yes. Oh, that's great. Great. I'm an accountant. What's that? One more time. I'm an accountant. You're an accountant, a CPA. My uncle yes. is an accountant. I was going to be an accountant. Do you like being an accountant? Yes. Does, is the money good? <laughs> yes. <laughs> good. That's good. That's good. All right. This is your first time joining FNL, correct? Oh, yes. Yes. It's good to have you. Glad that you joined us. Anybody else here for the first time? I think I know everybody. Uh, three, three. You joined me a long time ago, right? Yeah, this is the second time. The second time. That's great. And Taha has been here. I think Taha was here last week. So. Uh, yeah. Yes. It was a problem in your hangout. There's always a problem. <laughs> yeah. Me and I'm Jessica. here for the first time. What's that, Durga? I'm here for the first time in this month. Uh, okay, okay, the first time this month. <laughs> Actually, Durgum is one of our first FNL members, correct? Yeah. That's From right. A long time ago, Friday Night Live. Friday Night Live. <laughs> yeah, I think. Uh, yeah, I like last, this place. Last year, October, maybe. been a long time. Durgum lives in Iraq. Uh, I think, yeah, his, his camera froze. Uh, I think he's in... I can't remember. I want to say Baghdad, but I'm not exactly sure. Taha, uh, uh, let me ask one question to Taha. Taha, in Morocco, is that where Casablanca is? No. Um, where is Casablanca? Um, Casablanca is uh, in the west. In in Morocco, right? Yeah. Okay, but you do not live near Casablanca. No, far from it. Far but from it's it. It's a crowded. Yeah, it's crowded city. Yeah, all cities are crowded. Do you live in the country? Yes, I live in the country. Ah, I like the country. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Have you ever Turkey. been to Morocco? No, no, I've never been to Europe. I've never been to Africa. Uh, but uh, one day uh, I would love to visit. Welcome anytime. Oh, that's great. I want to go when the weather is cool, not when the weather is hot. Yes, you have to, to come in, a, in January. January is the best time? Yes. Yeah. Great. Cold. And it's uh, and it's snowing here. I like it. That sounds good to yeah. me. <laughs> yeah. Is Moroccan food good? Bear Santa Raisin said Moroccan yeah. food. Is it good? It's a delicious. Our uh, our traditional food is couscous. Couscous. I've had couscous. I like it. Oh, uh, I I ate it today because every every Friday we make it. Ah, oh, that's wonderful. That sounds great. Sergey, Sergey, did you have a question or a comment? Yes, yeah, yeah, Shane. Do you have some background information about the speeches or no? Yes, I will tell you. I will tell you. Yeah, There's only one. Yeah. Just wait. Let me do Jaskaran. Jaskaran, are you done? Yes, sir. It's in the chat box. All righty. Let me copy this. We'll do Jaskaran. And then, Sergey, I will tell you the background information. I think you will be disappointed. <laughs> 
I'm dying. I'm dying to hear you, Chen. Yeah. <laughs> oh, excellent expression. I'm dying to hear it. Thank you. Uh, All right. All righty. And everybody else, please make sure that your microphone is off, uh, so that we have a better audio sound here. All right, Jaskaran, can you read your paragraph, please? Yes, sir. Uh, as far as I have the taste of observing the things, these two pictures have two things in common. Speaking of first one, which shows that both men are fighting tooth and nail to overcome the trouble. Moving on to the, the other one, you can clearly see that both men are pointing their one arm forward. Excellent job. That's really good. That's a great description. So as far as I have the taste of observing. Okay, now, uh, we learned this in E cubed, right? Yes, sir. Yes, but we can't exactly use it like this. So we're going to have to change this a bit. I was also confused, <laughs> but I said, okay, let's use it. That's, that's good. You have to, this is how you learn. You have to use yeah. the expressions and make mistakes and learn how to use them. That's great. So let me see here. As far as I have, do you know this expression? The knack. The knack of ing. I should do this for E cubed. This means the ability, the yeah. natural ability. Okay? Okay. So as far as is not going to work either. Um, uh, so let me fix this. Hold on a second. Mm. Can't we use as far as I'm concerned? Because I was thinking, but I. Okay. Like okay. Let's let's try that. As far as I'm con. But then it's not going to work with this yeah, part. Yes, yeah. yeah, sir. So that's the problem here. Let me let me get you another one. How about this? We'll just say this. I think I have the knack. I think I have a knack for observing things. So this means I think I have a knack for observing things means I think I have a natural ability to observe things. I'm good at observing things, okay? Yes, sir. These two pictures have two things in common. And we can get rid of speaking of, but when we see the word first, we need to say the. The first one, the first thing in common, the first one shows, let's not make it a relative pronoun, we don't need that, shows that both men are fighting tooth and nail to overcome trouble. Excellent, excellent. That's really good. So the first one, the first thing in common is both men are fighting tooth and nail to overcome trouble. So what does this mean, fighting tooth and nail? They are really uh, putting their efforts, their Whatever they can do, they are doing. 110%. Yes. Excellent expression. So fighting they are, tooth and nail they is are, a good expression. They are doing nothing but the best. Nothing but the best. Nothing but the best that they can do. That's right. Excellent. Another E cubed expression. <laughs> OK. Moving on to the other one. Moving on to the other one. You can see clearly that both men are pointing one arm forward. We don't need to say there in this case, okay? Okay. okay. Excellent job. So let's see. The first one, I guess they want a semicolon. Ah, the first one shows. Okay. Um, so Jaskaran, can you read it again, please? Can you see it? No, sir. Please okay. put it in the I'll copy it and put it in the chat. Who's chatting so much? Ha ha, Kate and Bear. <laughs> Study English, damn it. Okay, uh, Jaskara, go ahead. <laughs> okay. Yes. 
I think I have a knack for observing things. These two pictures have two things in common. The first one shows that both men are fighting tooth and nail to overcome trouble. Moving on to the other one, you can see clearly that both men are pointing one arm forward. Excellent job. Pronunciation very good. I really like the speed and the sentence structure is now perfect. Excellent, excellent. Okay. Now, let's let now let me look at your descriptions here. Um Who's this? I think this was uh Bear. Mhm. Mm uh, okay. 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 Uh, who's this? Whose sentence was this? Activities. That was a uh, Kate. It was mine, yeah. Uh -huh. uh, okay. And uh, who's this? This is the first one. This was uh, Dimitri. So Dimitri, Kate, and Bear. You guys had something very similar in your answers. Do you know what that was? Dimitri, Kate, and Bear. I'll show you the sentences again. Uh, this, where is Dimitri? The, the this pictures is. were made by, by the men themselves? Ah, uh, yes, by the, the men themselves. That's the right. So, my question, <clears throat> these are called, in this case, this is the similarity, Sergey. The similarity is this, and I'll make it big here. In American English, we call these pictures selfies. These pictures are called selfies. What yes. is a selfie? Made by yourself. Yeah. That's right. So even Jaskaran said both men have their arm pointed forward because they're taking their own picture. They're selfies. Selfies, yeah. Okay, so that's what I wanted to concentrate. So my question, Bear Santa Raisin, do you take a lot of selfies? No. Really? I do it from time to time, but not really. And my girlfriends take a lot of selfies. Your girlfriends take a lot of selfies? Yeah. They love themselves. <laughs> yeah, they like it. <laughs> uh, Kate. Kate. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Kate, do you take a lot of selfies? No, not too much. Not too much? No, Kate... But the, the, sure. this peak uh, was made by myself. <laughs> I was going to say, your, your, your picture here is a selfie. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> and what about... Uh, well, hold on, let me go to Dimitri. Dimitri? Okay. Do you take a lot of selfies? Uh, no, uh, I didn't do such things. I think it was uh, maybe four years ago, I think, uh, I made such a picture and uh, uh, placed on my avatar uh, on in on uh, .com. Uh huh. But that's so four years ago was the last selfie you took. Yes. <laughs> that's good, that's good. Now, who had a question? Durgam? Who was it? Me. Taha? Me. Yes, go ahead, Taha. Yeah. Those surfaces, those surfaces is like a surfish or egoism. One more time, one more time, please. Is a surface like the same surfish? Oh, no, no, no. no. That's a good question. So, <clears throat> well, actually, in a way, yes, but no. Selfish and selfie are different so selfish means only thinking of yourself and being greedy and selfie uh, I'll show you a selfie this is a selfie you take your phone and you take your own picture just like this oh uh, yeah that's a selfie okay you love yourself. Durgam you is love doing yourself. <laughs> I'm doing always selfie pictures Durgam, you're always taking selfies? Yeah, yeah, but I did it at the moment. Why why do you take selfies, Durgam? 
uh, to play with my phone just to play. <laughs> Sometimes after you eat lunch, do you take a selfie of your teeth? Yeah, I look to my teeth and become. <laughs> very good, very good. Now, some people say if you take many selfies, you are a selfish person. So, Durgam, are you a selfish person? No, 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 no. I'm not a selfish. Uh, we need to ask your wife. What will your wife say? <laughs> Sometimes she, she accused me that I'm a selfish. <laughs> so the psychological test is true. The more selfies you take, the more selfish you are. <laughs> Very good. I'm honest. Sometimes she says that. Yeah, well, honesty is a good thing. I think honesty is great. Sergey, do you take a lot of selfies? I'm, I'm not a selfish joke. Oh, Shane. <laughs> only for Google Plus. I, uh, only for Google I Plus. I took a picture. Yeah. For yeah. Google Plus, yeah. Only. Yeah, I, I, uh, I'm looking at my camera. I have no selfies. No selfies, man. <laughs> No. The pictures that I use on Google Plus were done many years ago in a studio, but I have no selfies. I should take some selfies. I, no I'll selfies start. anymore. Uh, you should try it again, Shane. Try yes. it again. I'll take do some right pictures now. of you. Uh, I'm gonna take a selfie right now, and then uh, and, uh, and post it on YouTube. There you go. There you go. So I guess the, the, the important thing now when you take a selfie is you have to have a good pose. So I need to pose. So is, yeah. how's this? It's, it's OK. <laughs> now the iPhone is yeah. inconvenient. Yeah, it's very look, hard uh, to do a yeah. selfie with an iPhone. <laughs> there. Now I'll put this, I'll put this on a... What's the app? In Instagram. So if you follow me on Instagram, you can see my selfie on Instagram. <laughs> okay, so that's the lesson that I wanted to teach. I wanted to hear what you thought those pictures had in common, and I wanted to teach the word selfie. And we can say selfie, S-E-L-F-Y, but I think most Americans would say S-E-L-F-Y. I E. Both are possible, but probably I E is more common. <clears throat> but we usually say plural selfies. Selfies. Just go what ahead. What about the animal? Yeah, that's that's a true now that picture is a man and he is a polar bear trainer. Uh, not a trainer, but he works with polar bears. Yeah. So um, it's a, that's a real picture. So on his back, there's a polar bear swimming. That's pretty crazy. And the other picture is a pilot, and the pilot is flying his jet and taking a selfie. That's crazy. That that's really amazing. So those are real pictures. If you go, I'll, I'll do a screen share here. Hold up. If you go to Google. And you type epic. That's where you get it. I get it from a blog, and I'll show you the blog that I subscribe to. Hold on a second. Uh, da -da -da -da. I'll give you the name of the blog. I need to find it. Real man, not douchebags. Yeah, of course. Uh -huh. <laughs> where did you learn that? Douchebag, yeah, yeah that's from a, a from a gangster movie. From a gangster movie, yeah. Yeah, that's that's definitely gangster. That's a terrible word. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I can't see my blogs, uh, and I can't remember. Oh, I don't know uh, what it was, but the title of the blog was "Epic Pictures." Epic selfies. Epic selfies was the title of the blog. So I think if you Google search it, I'll try a Google search right now. Do you know the great gangster movie Soprano? Soprano? So yes, I've heard of it, but I've never seen it. I've never seen yeah. it. Is it a good Not one? Yet. 
Not not bad. Uh, a little, little bit uh, long, but not bad. Yeah. Yeah. About lot. about six seasons. Six or six. Wow. Seven wow. seasons. Okay, who's talking? Was that Taha? Ah, this is Taha's selfie. Yes. Hold on a Can second. A lot of slang. Hold up, Taha. I want to see it here. Uh, oh, I can't see it. It's not coming in. Taha, I can't see it. It looks like... Is that... I can't even make out... There we go. Oh, wow, with a horse. Yeah. Oh, that looks really nice. Oh, that that's Thank a really you. nice looking horse. Is that near your house? No, it's in there. Is that a selfie, or did somebody take it for you? It's a selfie. Wow, that's a really good selfie. That's a really nice picture. Thank if you can't you. see it, click on uh, yeah. Taha's picture, and you see him. And a horse. What's the horse's name? Jack. Jack. All right. Jack's a good-looking horse. Jake. Jake. Yeah. I like it. That's great. Do Do you ride horses, Taha? Yeah, I ride on it without any saddle. Yeah, without a saddle. Yeah. Doesn't that hurt? No, it isn't. You have to sit in one place and you can feel nothing. <laughs> oh, man. That's great. So, are there yeah. lots of horses near your house? Yeah. No, in, a, in our uh, cooperative. In your where? In your, our cooperative. Near our, I can't hear the last word. Ah, cooperative. Near the cooperative, like a farm. Yeah. That's yeah. Great. That's great. That's great. Wow. See, now that's the nice thing about living in the country. You can live with animals like horses yeah. and polar bears yeah. and uh, yeah. no big in city insects. And insects, yes, lovely in I don't like Shane, insects. Shane, by the way, I live in the country. You ah, so I was gonna ask, is it near Baghdad or not? No, it's in the in the middle of Iraq, near to Najaf. Near Najaf. Yeah. But oh, okay. I, I live in the countryside with insects and animals. <laughs> I now Durgum I understand that in the desert there's a huge spider. Is that true? Maybe yeah. sometimes, especially in Saudi Arabia, there uh, there are huge spiders. Ah, uh, in Iraq, no. Okay, so uh, Ahmad, in Saudi Arabia there are huge spiders. I didn't. I don't know. I didn't go. Uh, you haven't seen. You haven't seen them. <laughs> in, in Morocco desert, yeah. In the Moroccan desert, they have huge spiders. Yeah, and snake, snaker. <laughs> and snakes. Ooh, sounds delicious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know that Sergey really loves snakes. <laughs> Sergey. Sergey is ignoring me. <laughs> yeah. We understand that you love snakes. Yes, I love snakes, and uh, the best movie in the last uh, of the last years, Breaking Bad. <laughs> what? I wrote down Breaking Broke Bad. Brokeback Mountain. You know that movie, Shane? <laughs> No. No, no. Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad. It's a movie. Yeah. I, I don't yeah. know. I heard Brokeback Mountain. Are you? 
Breaking Bad no, is no, no. a theory. It's about a community teacher uh, who cooks uh, meth. Breaking Bad, B-A-D. Yeah. It's a movie or a TV show? I agree. Uh, it's a movie, a movie. Type the name. Yeah. I can't find it. I don't. I don't see it. So I. Five. Uh, I'm curious now. But not the television drama. Yeah, Bear. I. I said the television drama too. Breaking Bad. Yeah, the best uh, drama. Okay, so it's a TV it's a show. TV show, yeah. Oh, okay, that's a good drama. Yeah, it's about a chemistry uh, teacher, teacher who cooks uh, meth. <laughs> who cooks meth? Yeah. <laughs> he, yeah. He makes drugs. Not bad. Yeah, of course. It sounds like a crazy drama. But the best. Oh, I, I guess I'll have to watch yeah. it. Sounds pretty interesting. Yeah. Questions from anybody? You should watch it, Shane. Okay, I will. I will. Breaking Bad. Questions from anybody about anything? Unbelievable good. Unbelievable good, yeah. yeah. Unbelievably good. Unbelievably good, yeah. <laughs> Excellent. So there is one word. I'm really having a hard time pronouncing it. Since morning I've been trying, but uh, uh, necessarily. I don't necessarily. Know. Let me change the screen. Are you trying yeah. to say necessarily? Yes, necessarily. <laughs> yeah, that's a tough one. Yeah, I'm really. This word, right? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So the pronunciation is ne se se -li. So let's start with the back. Serily. 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 Good. Necessarily. Necessarily. Necess necessarily. 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 Good. And usually necessarily. Usually we accent the ser. This is the accent. So make sure you highlight this part. Necessarily. 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 Let me try. Mm -hmm. Necessarily. No. Oh. Necessarily. Necessarily. Okay, once again, uh, Jaskaran, make sure you accent, you highlight this part. So let me give you a sentence. Uh, let me see. Um, I live in the country, but don't. sentence. Anyway, uh, I live in the country, but I don't necessarily like cows. Can you say no, that? Yes. I live in the country, but I don't live, but I don't like. I live in the country, but I don't. I don't, I don't I... necessarily like cows. Hold on a second. Okay, can you try again? Did just gonna leave? <laughs> Everybody gets angry at me, and they leave. <laughs> Necessarily. Okay, okay bear, hold on a second. Bear Santa Raisin, you eat bears' galls? Don't say it like that. Gallbladders. You have to say gallbladders. Otherwise, it sounds very strange. <laughs> gallbladders. Yeah. Thanks. That sounds Chinese. Yes, sir. Nice. Okay, Jaskaran, Jaskaran. I'll let me put this sentence here again in the chat room, Jaskaran. Try it again, please. I live in the country, but I don't necessarily like cows. That's good, but try again. I live in the country, but I don't necessarily like cows. I don't necessarily like cows. I live in the country, but I don't necessarily like cows. Necessarily like cows. Necessarily like cows. Much better, much better, much better. Good job. 
Durgum. Durgum had a question about DDM. How can I join DDM while I don't have PayPal, just a Visa card? Um, right now, actually, I have a question. And uh, I guess in Egypt, it's also very difficult. And some people have a hard time in Saudi Arabia. And I guess it must be difficult in Iraq. Um, so I don't really know. So my question for, for Durgum in Iraq, what type of service do they use? <laughs> and he just left. <laughs> uh, I'll wait for him to come back. <laughs> he doesn't want to answer. <laughs> okay, Durgum should be back. He does not like it one bit. <laughs> okay, Jaskaran, I hear a motorcycle at your house. Yes, no, no, I, it has just passed by my house. Okay. Yes. It sounds my. like a Harley Davidson. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah. maybe Turkish. Anyway, uh, let me ask uh, Ahmad. Ahmad, are you there? Yes. What does uh, service in Saudi Arabia? Yeah. Uh, do they? Does PayPal work in Saudi Arabia? Do you know? Yes. It does work. I'm working in Saudi Arabia. Okay. Is there in the Middle East? Is there another system that's common other than PayPal? I don't know. Not yes. sure. Western yes. Union. You have Western Union in yes, Saudi you Arabia. Yes, Western Union in Saudi Arabia. Yes. Yeah. And Egypt. And e and Egypt too. Yes. Okay. Um, in the big cities or everywhere? Uh, big cities. Yeah, probably just the big cities. Yeah, I think that's the same in Korea too. Okay. Yeah. So if, if uh, Durgam, if you're watching, um, do do some so checking be, so because he's everywhere. Yeah, yeah. The problem is Durgam lives in the country, so it might be very difficult. Um, Durgam, send me an email. And we'll work something out. We'll do it that way. My email, uh, for I'll tell everybody my email. If you have questions about DDM, or if you want a free DDM lesson, send me an email. At. Um, so once again, uh, if you send me an email, just ask me for a free lesson. And uh, I'll send you a free lesson. So it's daily dictation members with an S at gmail.com. So I'll answer questions about DDM and I'll send you a free lesson too if anybody has questions. Thank you. Yes. Any other questions about anything? Yes, I have a, a question. Yes, Ahmad. Uh, about learning English, I'm a beginner in English. Yeah. But uh, I have uh, confused uh, with uh, the past and the future. And, uh, 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 you're confused about what? I couldn't hear you. You're confused about? The uh, sentence uh, about uh, uh, past and the future, I can talk. Yani. Okay, so you have a problem uh, with past and future tenses. Yes. Well, Ahmad, the best way, so that's kind of a grammar based question. And the best way to master grammar is to write. Um, and write short sentences. Short sentences. Uh, for example, I. Future, I. I pre pre present progressive. I am going to and just practice these types of sentences over and over and over again until it becomes natural. And then, um, so that's why in this situation, I highly recommend students to keep a blog or that's not convenient. At least a diary. 
And uh, in Ahmad's case, you speak Arabic, right? Yes. So I would title my blog something like my English blog. And then, uh, and then every day, just uh, type a, like basically a diary. What did you do uh, at 7 a.m. and at uh, lunchtime? I and then at uh, 7 p.m. Uh, left work. And in the beginning. Just make it real simple sentences, nothing deep. That's it. That's it. But then as you get more confident, as you practice other verbs and other tenses, make the sentences longer. So you could say, for example, 7 p.m. Example. I mean, it just, it just depends. So, in time, your sentences will get longer and longer. But the key, and I really strongly recommend students who want to master grammar, write shorter sentences. Keep your sentences short. And then, as your confidence builds, start writing longer sentences. The longer the sentence, uh, the better, but in the beginning, keep it short. If you can, join FNL every week because we have a little bit of writing. So this is a good chance to practice your writing, okay? And then uh, in time, your confidence will improve. Okay, Ahmad? Okay. Okay, I hope that helps. <laughs> your English sounds really good. Yes. About uh, words in English, uh, يعني I uh, can uh, save uh, the word in my brain. You, 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 you cannot practice the words with your friends, is that what you mean? Uh, in the work only. I'm not sure, Ahmad. Can you can you write it down, please? I'm sorry, I can't really understand. Okay. Wait a second here. Yeah, Bear Santa Raisin was right. Durgam doesn't like the question. He never came back. <laughs> Taha, you wear your hat like a rap star. Are you a rap star? Yeah. It's MG. <laughs> Michael Jordan or Michael Jackson? Michael yeah. Jackson. Michael Jackson. Yeah. Okay, Ahmad, I have your sentence. I can't save the words English in my memory. So, <laughs> Ahmad, yes. me too. I can never memorize new words. It's always difficult for me to memorize new words. Ahmad, how old are you? 33. 33? Yes. Yeah, you're too old to memorize. <laughs> <laughs> what you need to do is you need the only way well of course you could make a make a uh, a diary or make a book take a notebook I don't even have a notebook uh, and write down words but that's pretty boring so my recommendation study a little bit at least a little bit every day and for example you can go there are many YouTube channels but I do do you watch my e cubed channel I watch uh, a film only English. Okay. Do you know uh, eCubed, my daily easy English channel? eCubed. Okay, I'll give you the link. Hold on a second. I don't even know it. 
<laughs> I go there every day and I don't know the channel. Here we go. So I'll put it in the chat room and I'll write it on the monitor. So this is on this uh, 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 YouTube channel every day I have a new expression and a new dialogue. And uh, you don't have to memorize it, but just listen to my explanation, and hopefully you will understand. And this is really good practice, and it's something you can do every day. And the videos are usually less than five minutes. So less than five minutes every day, and uh, you can learn an expression, learn about pronunciation, learn some new words. And uh, it's what's really important, Ahmad, is to practice every day as much as you. I mean, five minutes is enough, but the more the better. But make it a hobby or a habit. Actually, a habit is even better. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Yeah. Shane, thank you for your explanation about bags. I met uh, today a gay. I met today a gay with a bag, and he was really excited about my explanation. Oh, that's great! Yeah. So you educated this man. Uh, you 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 know uh, the gays uh, uh, the gays laugh laugh bags. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, bag clutch bags. Yeah, they I, like large bags. I was really totes. excited. Yeah. <laughs> it was a pharmaceutical. I mean, yeah. Oh, there yeah. you go. <laughs> so, were you speaking in English or in German um, or in Russian? In uh, in German, but uh, he was uh, yeah, his back, uh, his back, yeah. messenger back or, or clutch back. You know, is this a uh, difference about messenger or clutch back? Yeah. Wow, that's great! So you had a conversation. On no, the no, not, not really, not really. Messenger or clutch back, the same, yeah. Yeah, they can be, but once again, messenger bags are usually for men. Usually, it's it's a man's bag. <laughs> or, or, or for I'm not a, a gay, bag yeah? expert. Or for a gay. <laughs> Definitely, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I don't have a messenger bag, but remember, uh, Indiana Jones has a satchel and Indiana Jones was not gay I don't think yeah satchel back yeah maybe uh, it was a satchel back yeah maybe there yeah you go. there you go uh, we have but two sure. other guys here. Um, we have uh, Enric Henrik hello hi Shane how are you great how are you doing can you hear me clearly yeah it sounds really good well it's my first time here so <laughs> I don't know exactly how it works yeah, it's working perfectly. Welcome. It's nice to meet you. Thank you. All right. Nice to meet you too. Good. Mm. And we have Khaled, Khaled or Khalid? Check your microphone. I can't hear you. I'm going to say Khaled Triek. I'm guessing. I can see you. Check your, maybe your microphone set. Maybe it's red. If it's red, you need to change it. Hit the button. Well, Let's hello go. everybody. Hello, welcome. Hi. Is it Khaled? Khaled. 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 Great. Khaled, where are you from? I'm from Algeria, and it's my first time here. So hello everybody. Nice to meet you all. That's great. Algeria. So right next to Morocco, Algeria, the top of Africa, right? Yeah, North Africa. That's right. Great. And yeah. Henrique, where are you from? I'm from Brazil. Brazil. Where in Brazil? Yeah. That's a huge country. Uh, it's a small town in the state of Sao Paulo. It's a Chapo. small town near Sao Paulo. Yeah. Do you it's like the small very, town? Very, uh, some. Uh, yeah, I do. Good, good. How many people in the small town? Mm, it's about uh, 
seven thousand people. I think. Okay, that's small. Yeah, I'm, not I'm sure. from. Yeah, very yeah. small. I'm from. I lived. I grew up in Wisconsin, and we had three thousand five hundred people. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I like okay. small towns. Yeah, me too. But sometimes we have nothing to do. You know, it's kind of complicated. When you're, especially when you're young. If you're young, it's it's stressful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. I'm old. <laughs> When you're old and losing your hair, we like the small town. <laughs> My country yeah. is 2,000 uh, only. How many people? 2,000 and a half only. 2,000? Wow, <laughs> you win! <laughs> <laughs> so 2,000 people. Is it where in Egypt? Uh, Near Cairo? Cairo? Is it no, no. Down south? Uh, 100 kilometers. Okay, so not too far from Cairo. Yes. Is it towards Saudi Arabia or towards uh, the east or the west? Uh, north. North uh, Cairo. North, north of Cairo. Yes. Ah, uh, by Alexandria? Between, between Alexandria and uh, Cairo. Okay. Oh, so that's a beautiful area. Very uh, lots of uh, famous ancient things to see in that area. Yes, yes. It's a nice area. Is it along the Nile? Uh, no, sorry. Is it near the Nile River? Yes. That's great. That's great. We have another guy joining. I'm going to finish pretty soon here, but I'll say hello to who just joined? Oh, nobody. Mohammed. Oh, ah, there we go. Mohammed Sharizal. Mohammed Sharizal Razmi. Hello, Mohammed. I can see you, but I cannot hear you. Check your microphone. Is your microphone working? Well, once again, I, I do welcome you to the Hangout. Uh, I am going to finish the Hangout. Uh, it's 12.30 a.m., time for me to go to bed. But I do want to thank everybody for joining me. All right. uh, I guess... Uh, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, Mohammed. Hi. All right. Hi. Mohammed, where are you from? I come from Malaysia. From Malaysia. Malaysia, great. Yeah, you're my yeah. first. Yeah. You're my first person from Malaysia. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh no no, I take that back. We did have another guy from Malaysia. I remember you had the election several months ago, right? I don't remember, but. It I think so. Anyway, nice to meet you, Mohammed. Yes, nice to meet you. That's great. I, I, Google oh. Plus is fantastic. We have the whole world. We've got Brazil, yeah. Malaysia, uh, Saudi Arabia. I mean, just everywhere. This is this is really yeah. cool. And I'm I'm yeah. really lucky uh, with the, the English. Uh, you all want to learn English, so it's it's my yes. pleasure. And I want to improve my spoken English. Very well, and so that's why I joined you. you so thanks for you me for yep. your for your for your community. Absolutely, I love I love uh, the the community making comments and joining the yes. hangouts and and uh, participating. That's what's really important. Uh, so okay. Uh, once again, I'm going to say good night uh, for the, the evening, and next week I'll start again. I hope the time is not too inconvenient. I know in Brazil it might be lunchtime right now, but a little bit early. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, I'm in, even though I'm, I'm in late. the office right now. <laughs> My boss is away from here. That's good. That's good. <laughs> Later, if you become the boss, then you can speak loud. 
Oh, for sure. <laughs> I'm, I'm really glad to, to hang out with you. It's, it's I, awesome. Uh, same here. I, I really like the, the opportunity, especially from a small town brother to a small town brother. Yeah, yeah. I'm kind of nervous, you know, because I, I, I don't usually speak English with anyone else here because, you know, uh, I can find someone who I can do the, this with. That's, that's so cool. Yeah. yeah. Hope, do you join? Hope, hope, oh, what? Do you join other hangouts too? Mm, no, no. It's my first time participating on a hangout. Uh, I've never done this before. Well, you're doing excellent. You're doing a really great job. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I think everybody will agree. Says, your English pronunciation sounds good, and the confidence level, you do not sound nervous. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> but I am. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, uh, I, I wanna I wanna hang out with you uh, more times. And... Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Every Friday, yeah. once again, every Friday, uh, I'll be here, and maybe in the future, I'll open up more opportunities too. I hope oh, so. Yeah. I know the time yeah. is inconvenient for some people, so I do apologize for that. You you're you're the first. Uh, you're the best teacher uh, uh, I I have met. Yeah! Really? Yes. Uh, uh, they're the best. I, I, I really like the way you teach, uh, the way you, you speak with us. Uh, you know, it's awesome. Well, that's great. That's very encouraging. I really appreciate that. Thank you. You're Everybody, awesome. once again, thank you so much for joining me. Ahmad, you have a, a great day. You have the rest of the day. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, evening. It's about the evening, right? Yes, no. All right. Well, you have a lovely evening. Bear Santa Raisin, it's uh, time to go to bed for you. Yeah. Yeah. Enrique, it's lunchtime. You need to have some delicious food. Yeah, and soon I, I've got to go back to work. <laughs> go back to it was, work. It, it was really nice talking to you. Same here. Same here. Thank Good you. Good night. Jaskaran, you have a, a fantastic. Did you have dinner yet, Jaskaran? Yeah, I did. Ah, okay, so you need to relax in the hot summer weather of <laughs> India. Now it's rainy season has started. That's great. Yeah. No? I think now you should visit. <laughs> now is the time to visit. Okay, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Kate, have you had dinner yet? Yes, I, I had. Great, so now you can relax at home with the family and watch TV. Yeah. Khaled, Khaled. Have you had dinner? Yet. No, not yet. Not yet. I hope that you have a fantastic dinner. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. And Mohammed, it's time yes. to go to bed. Yes. You need to go to sleep. It's very late. Yes. I'm I'm walking. I'm now. I'm walking. You're working now. Yes. I'm a uh, arena member of security. <laughs> Do you know security? So I'm at the uh, some place. So all of we sleep, and I am a cat. Uh, I'm a. I what 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 I want to say. The cat is place now. So do you do you understand? I think so. You have the late shift. You're working the late shift. Yeah, well, yes. I got it. Well, don't work too hard. Have some coffee. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Sergey, have you uh yeah. have you had dinner yet? Not yet. No, I'm I'm going to plan some fun with the drink a beer. That sounds fantastic. Yeah, I don't know. Do I know what? Pumpkin plant. If you if you plant pumpkins, if enough pumpkins, then you can go up into the sky. <laughs> <laughs> in fall, in fall. <laughs> oh wait, that was Jack and the Beanstalk. That was a bean, not a pumpkin. Not a pumpkin. 
No, no. But, and but then, uh, the, the slugs, yeah, were terrible. Uh, they're eating uh, all puppings up. Ah, uh. uh, the birds? No, the slugs. Ah, uh, the slugs, those damn slugs. Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, that's too bad. That's too bad. I hope you. I hope you can find something that takes care of them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I do it. <laughs> Great. Do it. And Have Taha, a good, uh, thank you very much. Tomorrow, you, Shane, yeah? you, yes, yes, yes. You too. Okay. And Taha, have you had dinner yet? Not yet. Bad connection. Not yet. It's only <laughs> four. Four. 4 p.m., so you still got a couple hours. Well, you have a lovely evening, okay? Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.